When we got George's diagnosis, I was basically there's a diagnosis that's at, like nobody tells you about support that's there or activities or things that are there for like you and your child. George can be up at like three in the morning and he's just all go. Space is limited for what we can do with him. George's way of communication is making noises and being quite loud and you'll be surprised at how many people don't really take to that or understand that. So it does, it makes you feel quite limited to when you're going places or feel like everyone's constantly watching. Um, and it's, it's not very nice, it's quite horrible sometimes. Where are we? It's like, I've just seen the yellow sign. When you walk into the yard and you open that door that George is so very patiently waiting at, he gets there and he's just a completely different person. He's just total happiness for the minute he goes in. You can't help but smile how you feel inside when you actually see how happy he is and when you can hear him just running crazy and like the smile on his face and you can actually like hear the happiness in him. The workers that do these courses and learn even and use their time to like make these children feel like they can do anything and play and just have the support that they give you. It's, 100%. From the second he goes in there, he's, he knows where he is. He feels at home really because he just, he gets to be how he is in here. He doesn't need to sort of change who he is. I just, I don't know, like it's hard to describe because he's just, I just, to me, he's perfect. Mm -hmm.